Hey, how's it going, guys? So I, I didn't really do anything too interesting at my shop today, but uh, I just came home, watched my son all night, and after he went to sleep, I, I was going through some of my uh, parts I have here, just down in my basement there, another little hoard. But I found my like porting templates and all that stuff, and a couple irons and housing. So I figured I'd go over like show you guys what I'm talking about when I'm talking about like street porting a uh, rotary engine or like porting the engine and all that. Like it's basically like with a piston engine, uh, like if you want to get more power out of the engine without adding like a bigger turbo or nitrous or anything like that, uh, you go with like a bigger camshaft and freer flowing heads and uh, like a valve job and all that. But like with the rotary engine, uh, they only have three moving parts in the engine, so to get more power out of it, you just pretty much need to do a little port job to it. So uh, I'll go over all that stuff and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, to start off, like uh, these are my street port templates here. I have two sets. Uh, one's like the small street port and then uh, one's the medium street port. So I'll just show you those. Uh, they're made by like Pineapple Racing here. You can see they have their logo like uh, laser etched there in it. It's all pretty. But uh, starting off, like the smaller ones, these are like the primary intake ports and then these are the secondary intake ports. But it, yeah, it'll only run off the primary intake ports until a certain percentage and now uh, that's when like the secondary intakes open up there so then it'll be running off like all four uh, ports there but I'll show you that so like this is uh, the center iron here with uh, the primary port you can see like on this side it has uh, two combustion faces on both sides with the two ports there like that's the first place you start portings in there uh, get those all nice and free flowing and smooth so it leads into the actual combustion chamber nice and smooth because you can kind of see here I'll hit my light yeah it's not very smooth in there right now and uh, when you change like the shape and everything of these that's uh, it starts changing like the actual engine timing and everything there but you see that's a stock one here so when you get these uh, you have like that uh, dye or even you can use paint or anything just uh, so you can coat that over and uh, use something after to etch in like the line yeah, so starting off here, I got the template here, so just put that over there. And you notice how it has the holes on each side there. Uh, just use the engine dowel pins just to keep it lined up. So uh, get all the time in my right. Yeah, so you can see it here. This one is uh, quite a bit of grinding because it's, it's a pretty small port stock, but you can see how much it ends up opening it up a lot earlier. And then there's a lot more flow that could make it through there and then closes a little bit uh a little bit later but it's just to start off there yeah so that's the intake port there and I'll switch over the this is a secondary port this one's not as much grinding a lot of the grinding's just all in the runners there uh, getting them nice and smooth like opening them up a bit there so this one's just a little bit of meat all the way around there, so see that. Yeah, the exhaust template came with this little jig here. You can see that it uh, matches like the shape of that. So you put that over there, and it has the hole down in there. You use the engine dowel pin again here. Just line that all up. Slide that through on both sides. So you get that, and then it has, uh, you can see those little nubs there, this is the exhaust port too, and then it has those little nubs there, you just line those all up, it's kind of hard one handed, then you can see the difference there, I'll hit my light here, sorry, flip you guys around like that, if you can see there's quite a bit off the bottom there, not too much off the top, but uh, once you open that up too, that uh, spools your turbo quite a bit more and you can see that it would start spooling it a bit earlier too because it would be opening up the exhaust a little bit early and everything so this is uh, an exhaust port 2A it's more like a oval shape and uh, this one's more like a, a shovel shape or whatever see this one here I have my hand yeah, so this is the exhaust port 3 sitting on there. It's just uh, more of a squared edge at the bottom with a rounder top. 
this is a stock corner seal right here you can see it has a hole there and has these little rubber inserts or whatever that go in there so the older style ones they have some that are uh, solid like right here this is the type I used in uh, my red cars engine yeah so you can see this one's bigger too uh, it's because I use like a, a three millimeter uh, apex seal instead of the standard like two millimeter here but uh put them like this little Pac-Man yeah so you can see the the difference right there alright so I got the apex seal right here uh, this is what uh, basically gives the rotary their bad name like these things get worn down and will end up like chipping or sending little chunks of metal into your engine and it just takes everything out with it so uh, they go in like these little grooves here it's basically like the the piston ring of the, like the rotary engine goes around and uh, seals off like the combustion face of the rotor there so these ones here these are the worst ones uh, on the older rotaries and like everything pretty much that hasn't been rebuilt will have like these three piece seals uh, Mazda ended up switching to a two piece seal now so they're a lot more uh, like durable and everything but these ones they'd get worn down so much and then this top piece gets rocking around and then it ends up just breaking off and then a piece of metal like that through your engine uh, it's gonna do some damage for sure but uh, I'll show you like on this one this is a two piece three millimeter seal this is what I used in a red RX-7's engine there so you can see the difference there so there's one solid piece compared to those two like these ones are actually a lot thicker this is a, a three millimeter seal and the stocks only have a two millimeter seal so it's even beefier there too yeah so there you guys go hopefully you learned a couple of things so like probably in the next month or so I'll have uh, the rebuild kit for that uh, black cars engine and uh, then you guys will actually get to see me like tear down the motor start cleaning it do the actual street porting like in person there and uh, do the rebuild and all that so check back for that later on uh, I don't know I'll talk to you guys all later